You were just telling me off camera uh, the, the, the idea behind this place. Yeah, when I came back in 2003, four was our first season, we started talking about we've got to get something special. We wanted a basketball museum, a Hall of Fame a museum is what we ended up calling it. I've always said that I'd like to come in here by myself and spend a day. And I really could because of my love for North Carolina basketball. So I know uh, you have a couple cases uh, dedicated to you here. Truly, that was my college math course that I took, calculus with analytic geometry. That's the one I used to carry. This is a picture here of Wanda and I standing out on the steps of Carmichael Auditorium. How old were you guys then? That was probably sophomore year, and we've been married 48 years now. This was the coat that I wore during the national championship win in 2017. Some good rings, 1982 as an assistant, and then the other three as a head coach. You can see how big they've gotten right there. Do you ever wear them? Uh, the bigger one, no. I wore it one time so somebody could take a picture of it. But I used to wear the 82 when I was an assistant for sure. And then here I would wear the ring until we made another Final Four, and then I would wear that ring until we made another one. <laughs> so, so tell me about that letter. It's from Mike Krzyzewski to Mike Jordan, uh, October 29th, 1980. It says, I'm sorry to hear that you no longer have an interest in learning more about, the, about Duke University. And then he wished him good luck kind of thing. But uh, I wish we had more prospects that would have gotten that kind of letter from Mike Krzyzewski. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's pretty good. And this is a letter from Coach Smith to Michael, and who was Mike at that time. And you were the early proponent behind recruiting then Mike. Yeah, it was, I was the first person to really get excited about him. And when I got really excited about him, everybody else uh, on our staff got to see him play during our basketball camp. And then it was, a, everybody was all in to say the least. Yeah, this is the best part of the whole museum to me. These spots on the floor, you can see the footprints and it will give some valuable information about this spot on the court in North Carolina basketball history. Marcus Page hit one of the most memorable shots in Final Four history when he made the shot to tie up the national championship game and we thought we were going to overtime and we thought we were going to win. Right here is where Walter Davis at this spot on the court, it was in Carmichael Auditorium. 25-footer kept a stunning eight-point comeback against Duke. We were down eight with 17 seconds to go. And this was an idea that you had, right? Yeah, it was. I just, this, this was great. I thought this was the greatest thing. There's a trophy I wanted to okay. point out to you. This one right here. The Dean Smith, UNC, John Wooden, the two best college basketball coaches of all time. I don't think in my mind nobody can argue that, but everybody will argue that. Uh, but this whole thing for Coach Smith is uh, the most amazing thing, most amazing person I've ever known. Uh, he was the greatest coach I've ever known on the court, and he was far greater off the court. And this is just some of the numerous things that we could have put together to honor Coach Smith. And uh, needless to say, he was my mentor, but he was just off the charts. Coach Smith was recognized and received the highest civilian award you can get. It's the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And so Coach had already passed away. And everyone in the picture there is Coach Smith's uh, family and Coach Guthrie's on one side and me on the other with President Mrs. Obama. And this right here, if you can get a shot of this, it says Coach, Mentor, and Friend. And that's who Coach Smith was. He was not just a coach, he was somebody that was important to all of our players for the rest of their lives and still is extremely important to me and he's been gone quite a while. This part is about as good as it can get. National champion room, it's just 57. 1924, I didn't coach that team. <laughs> I didn't see that team play. 82, I was an assistant, uh, beating Georgetown. Michael Jordan famously made the last shot to win the game. 93, uh, I was coaching at Kansas, and we had played in the Final Four. North Carolina beat my Kansas team in the semifinals, and then I stayed and because I wanted to see Coach Smith win his second championship. Then I was a little more involved in these, 2005, Sean May, Raymond Felton, Rashad McCants, Marvin Williams, Jawad Williams, Jackie Manuel, just 
a fantastic group. First one most memorable? I don't know if I would say that, but it was, uh, uh, those guys gave me a chance. They trusted me from the first day. 2009, needless to say, we were the first team and maybe still the only team to ever be unanimous choice by the Associated Press, number one in the preseason, and we ended up sticking with that all year long and handling the pressure and uh, just a great, great moment. And then 2017, we had lost the national championships in 2016 on a last second shot by Villanova. And these kids, uh, they used that as fuel. They got better and better, and we were able to finish the deal a little bit better in 2017 against Gonzaga. Is that a, a good one to go out on? Yeah, Wanda wanted me to quit after 09, so right. I was able to last a little bit longer and got another one in 17, but uh, it's, uh, those are uh, memories that I'll have forever.